Hey all. Uh, how about a Bee Gees tune? Um, doing this one in uh, open E. Barry used open D for virtually everything. Um, this one makes more sense in uh, open E because you definitely hear in these two chords that open. You definitely hear that one ring an open in there. It doesn't sound capoed. It doesn't sound like open D with a capo at two. So I'm going to do this open E. And it does start with these. Now, in terms of what I'm going to call the chords, there's really two chord shapes. One I'm going to call major, one I'm going to call minor. So we're just going to refer to them by the fret that they're in and major and minor. Because I don't know what they're called. No idea what, they, <laughs> what they're called in this tune. But the opening two chords are the... Man, that just is two beautiful chords. I could sit there and do that all afternoon. <laughs> it just sounds great, doesn't it? Uh, so you're tuned to uh, E, B, E. G sharp, B, E. So learn, there, there's really two shapes, basically, except for this opening, these opening two chords. Um, this one is, oh, but both E strings are open. And I'm going to refer to the strings by their normal name when they're not tuned this way. So that's an A string, even though it's tuned to B. Got it? Good. Uh, a, both E's are open, A at 5, D at 4, G at 3, B, that's the cool note in this chord, B is at 4, so you just, then move that down 2, now the A string is open, you don't use your pinky on this one, those just go down 2 and you drop the pinky. On the bass notes you get and they start singing on this. This is the minor shape. On the minor chords, you're only doing D, G, B, E. So these are, at, it's minor at the ninth fret. So they're all in the same, when you do the minor shape, they're all in the same fret except the G is one back. Right? Easy enough. All in the same fret, G is one back. So they're at nine. So do, 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 do. Major. Major is the other shape, and they're all in the same fret. That's all of them. You could do with one finger if you want. Any finger you want, you could do with two. If you watch Barry, videos of Barry playing, he does it sort of like that. And he might rest his other finger, but really he uses two. But they're all fretting the same. They're all in the same fret. Right. So minor at uh, nine. Major at seven, four. That second chord again. Right. That first. So. D and B at 2, G at 1, same, same that chord, minor, major at 7, major at 4, four. that back 
to minor and nine. Major four. So you just move from four to five. When this is when the chorus starts. Right? And it goes to minor at four. It goes from. Let's try it again. do that. Now I understand that's, if you're a beginner or something, that, that might be, uh, you're like, what the hell? Try it like this. Try a two-fingered version. <laughs> G at three, B at four. That one works just fine. Two fingers. It just goes out with more B tender with my love. Except now everything is up two frets from where it was before. Because you just modulated two frets, one fret at a time, but you're modulating two frets. So instead of doing with my love, you're now So now we're at seven. Then you gotta do minor at four. How easy it is. Major at six to break me. <laughs> Up there at eleven. Minor eleven. Be minor, minor, major, minor. Up there at well, that's 
that's an 11. So if you're trying to work out Bee Gees tunes, those two chord shapes, the major one, when all of them are in the same fret, don't be confused by what you see on the videos of Barry. He is doing them all in the same fret. It looks like he's doing some kind of uh, ninth chord, but it's, it's all the way across. And then the other one is a minor where they're all D, G, D, B and E are in the same fret, and G is one behind. You'll see him do that a lot. So, almost the entire Bee Gees catalog can be done with those two shapes. Occasionally, you'll have one, you know, down near the first fret. Occasionally, you'll have them down there, sort of cowboy chords in this open tuning. But for the most part, you could figure out almost their entire catalog with just those two shapes. That one and that one. Those two shapes. So mess around with some uh, Bee Gees tunes. Now, the question is whether he does mostly an open D. This one sounds like an E. Um, How Can You Mend a Broken Heart also sounds like an E to me. But they're the same. Open D and open E are the same. If you can play one, you can play the other. This is open E. If I tune this one. Usually I break them tuning down rather than tuning up. And then it would be... I mean, I'm not quite in, quite in tune, but it's the same chord shapes in open D and open E. So they're all... So it's a question of where you tune them. I could do open F if I tune this. If I tune this to F, if I tune my low to that, and then tune all the rest of them from that, then I've got open F. So there's different ways to do those open tunings, but if you can do D, you can do E, and vice versa. Hope that makes sense. Mess around with some uh, Bee Gees tunes, even the disco ones. Uh, uh, you should be dancing, all those. Nights on Broadway, all those are open tunings. And watch videos of Barry uh, when they're doing their TV shows and stuff, and you can see him doing the chord shapes. If you just eyeball his chord shapes and then try them out, you'll make some progress. Good luck.